All right, let's go climb a mountain. Today we're gonna to try to tag the summit of Long's Peak as well as maybe Mount Meeker via the loft route. So usually when I have toast in the morning, I have one piece with margarine and jam on it and then one piece with peanut butter and jam on it. But I think today I'm gonna to go with peanut butter on both and jam on both. Coffee's the lifeblood. I'm gonna chug this OJ right out of the bottle. But let's do a quick gear check. All right, let's do food stuffs first. I got a bunch of extra gel, Spring Energy. I am sponsored by them, and code SAGE by SpringEnergy.com. Canterbury, awesome sauce. Uh, I'm gonna fill up this powder, this drink mix powder. It's got the electrolytes in uh, my large fluid bottle here that I will carry in my pack, Camelback, as well as some water in this other fluid flask. I also, of course, have some extra bars and extra gels. That's, I'm gonna eat, be eating way more than just that. All right, a few more sponsor plugs and gear. Lube up with Squirrel's Nut Butter. I've put on some sunscreen. Probably going to be filming mostly with this GoPro, uh, but also have the Insta360 camera. Shout out Insta360 on the invisible stick. Got my Roka shades. Uh, see our landing page. Sandy and I are sponsored by that sunglass company in the description below. Garmin InReach Mini, uh, good for emergencies. It's got the SOS button. We have a subscription online. And, of course, my new Coros Vertex watch. Uh, again, sponsor plug, but... I got the mountaineering feature uh, map, it's got topo maps, got the route from last year, I did the loft route last year successfully, I'll load it on this watch, I also hope to remember the route, because route finding is important on this one. I'll probably take my ski helmet just in case, but I uh, also have the camelback octane vest, which I will fit everything in, clip the helmet to the back, uh, a lot of warm gear, it's always could be cold on the mountain, you know, windbreaker, waterproof, uh, hat gloves. I'll uh, probably be doing it in running shorts, Hoka One One. Since I'm a trail runner, Speed Goat, uh, Speed Goat Evo from Hoka, uh, Speed Goat 4 would have been nice too, but I like this one. It's got the Vibram outsole. Traction is very important on these rocks. Uh, could be the difference between slipping and falling to your death or not. All right, so just starting to get light out. Leaving Boulder. We're not going to be starting in the dark, but definitely recommend probably most people start pretty early. Unless you're planning on running uh, part of the trail at least, making very efficient time and knowing exactly where you're going. He blows Mount Meeker. Longs is behind that, of course. All right, out the Longs Peak Trailhead parking lot. It's not even full, which is very rare in the summer. Usually you have to get here at the crack of dawn and it's totally full earlier in the season, uh, especially last year, but uh, yeah, we'll Check, take a look at the trailhead sign. Hopefully get started here pretty soon. Nice leisure start after 7 a.m. Ray's got the spring energy gel. Lotion? Oh, I already put some on. Ready for an adventure? Always ready for an adventure. I'll follow you guys. Ranger station there. about a half mile in you hit the first fork in the trail which uh, if you're doing longs you generally want to stay to the left so this will take you all towards Estes Park Estes Cone so we take a left here half mile in the trail down low here is real buffed out real wide oh I should also say the first I think it's about three miles or so to the Chasm Lake Junction is the same if you're doing the keyhole route or the loft route so just keep in mind that'll be the next left turn but that's well above tree line we'll get good views when we get up there so all right let's get up get up to the waterfall and tree line oh yeah one more note what i wanted to say was the route just the loft route is about 13 miles round trip if you went out and back on it which is a tad shorter than the keyhole route it has over 5,000 feet of climbing though and it's more technical scrambling more route finding. So it basically takes just as long as a keyhole, depending on the person. Uh, but with the Meeker tag, we'll probably add on another kilometer or mile or so with more scrambling and more elevation gain. Let's get up there. All right, so about 1.9 miles in, you got this water source waterfall, uh, and we'll about be about cracking tree line as well. Climbed about 1,200 feet 
was that, almost 400 meters. So at an altitude of 10,700 feet, about to crack a tree line, starting to get a view of the twin sisters, I believe. Oh yeah, there you can see. Uh, pretty hazy today with all the wildfire smoke, but we'll make the best of it. All right, about two and a half miles in. What is that, 4K? We've got a split towards Battle Mountain. Not going up there. We're gonna keep a left here. Got the view of the Long's Peak there in the notch uh, where we're headed. It's about uh, 3.25 miles in, a little over 5K in. Up here at the Chasm Lake Junction, we're at about, what's the altitude, babe? 11,400 feet, I think. It took us about an hour to run power hike uphill here, but uh, we got a privy, a bathroom, uh, way over there. Keyhole route goes that way, wraps around. We're gonna take a left here, though, go towards Chasm Lake, and you can see the line of the loft couloir that we have to go up. Looks like there's a little snow up there, huh, Ray? <laughs> well, that's the that's the sketchy part on the ramp there. So, Chasm Lake off in the corner there. Of course, Long Peak Summit. We're gonna go up on the left side there, up the loft couloir, towards that patch of snow. Got the ship's prow, rock formation poking at us there. Off to the left, Mount Meeker, the double summit. So, we'll try to access that, what is it, the north northeast ridge, uh, once we get up to the top of the loft there. Take a Spring Energy Gel, enter code SAGE. This commercial is brought to you by Spring Energy, myspringenergy.com. Carb up, fuel up, nature up. Definitely gonna take a gel and uh, some electrolyte fluid and get in some calories before this grunt of a power hike up that steep part, because you're gonna be feeling the burn. You got up to about 13,000 feet at the top of the loft there. It's so about four miles in here, we come to a junction. Another privy off to the left. Trail to Chasm Lake, you go up over this rock here. On the right, you're basically really close to Chasm Lake. Got a couple fence posts here. We're gonna split left here to go up the Loft Couar, which is right there. So find a trail in there through the rocks. It's gonna get steep and technical. There's the ship's prow. Of course, summit off to the right. All right, so a bit of a grunt of a hike up the loft couloir here. Just started up it. Did get a view of Chasm Lake off to the right behind the ship's prow now there, but looking at Meeker, I think we got a summit rock somewhere in there. Well, one of the summits we're gonna hit. Of course, the iron gate's way off to the left there in the sun. All right, making our way up towards the spicy part of the loft couloir. You can see a little trickle of water. This is where the stream's coming down. So you wanna always basically stay to the left of this on this route, uh, but we zigzag a little. So go up the rocks here, going for the top where it's gonna get a little more spicy. Stay away from these cliffs on the left. Don't wanna go too far that way either. So yeah, you'll get clipped out if you go too far left here. Gotta cut back right towards the water. Then we look for the switch back to the left near the top. Spicy part, class three scrambling. <laughs> Some class three moves there. A little exposure. So yeah, you don't wanna to go too far left towards Meeker. Beautiful view down 
Looking down where we came from. Ship's prow off to the left there. Yeah, you can see the water's just on the right here. And then we're gonna look for a switch back near the top there that cuts to the left above this cliff. That's where the exposure is. It's going for the ramp up there still, but you gotta climb up stuff like this. Yeah, basically, I don't know if they call that the head wall. Hit that, you've gone too far. This is the ramp you're looking for off towards Meeker. And then it'll be, do a big switchback, but you gotta watch the exposure on the left here. So it's a big cliff. Down, down, down. So yeah, a couple little moves you gotta make like this, where it's definitely class three. It's not too bad. But we are looking for a switchback now, a ramp that goes back up to the right before we hit the loft proper. Oh yeah, see if you went to the left there, you get cliffed out. <laughs> You'd have more exposure to deal with. <laughs> All right, now we're cutting back to the right towards the beaver, but you can see the loft we're about to get into. Got some snow up there, top of the glacier. I don't know if it's a glacier actually. You can see down where we came from. All right, so topping out here in the loft about 13,200 feet, put that in meters there. It's about five miles in, took us about two and a half hours. Uh, we're gonna tag, hopefully tag Meeker there, behind me somewhere. But if you're doing the loft proper route, which when we come back, we'll talk about, uh, a lot of people think, oh, if you go straight towards the top, that's the beaver actually, I think, which is not the top, you'll get cliffed out in the notch. So you don't wanna do that. You need to beeline it more to climbers left over uh, where Ray's going across the boulder field there and do a down climb on the loft proper route. But we'll hit that after we take Meeker, hopefully. So yeah, we're probably gonna beeline it to the left here, try to take the one summit of Meeker. Then we'll come back down, go across the loft here and make a beeline for that edge where you do have to do a down climb and the class four move. All right, so up Meeker we go. A little bit of a ridge line here, so near the summit of Meeker, a little bit of exposure down into where we came from, and of course, Beaver. On the summit of Meeker here, you can see the beaver behind me. Beautiful view off there towards Estes. And back on the other summit of Meeker, uh, behind me there on the ridge line. I have to do a little push up though to get up here. So. <laughs> All right, heading back down, down into the loft. Then we'll cut around uh, the left side and wrap up to Summit Long's Peak. Beautiful day. All right, back in the loft. It's kind of like the boulder field, a mini boulder field, but this is where the route finding fun will begin. We are gonna beeline it for this, this corner here. As they say, follow the white rock. Let's see, we're gonna stay low and lose altitude off to the left a little bit. Too far off to the left, you get clipped out though. Uh, we do have to do some down climbing. And we do have to do a class four move. So we'll check back when we get there. Looking back where we came from. Yeah, to traverse this ridge here. I like to hug this rock formation a bit. All right, looking to exit on the left here for the down climb, losing altitude. So start cutting down to the left too early. 
you don't want to go down towards this guy. What you want to see is this guy. This is where you cut down and make the class four move. This rock formation. And we're gonna to cut to the left of that to go down. You go to the right, it's harder. I lost my GoPro there. Rest in peace, GoPro, forever lost. Probably won't be found for a thousand years. This is the, the way to go. Still down climbing this, a little exposure. This is the crux move, class four down climb right here to the left of this rock. Let me know if you want me to guide your foot at all. Yeah, that's why I will. I'll need help with your guy. I got it. I think I like to do more for Yeah. I can use my upper body strength better than my legs. I could help catch you here if you need it. I don't love class four. I guess the exposure wasn't that high. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to fall here. Like, it would be bad. And then there's stuff over here on the right. Let's see if this is, you don't want to go down that either. That's that's gnarly. So we still stay to the left here still. Um, but yeah, that class four move, it's a little awkward, especially if you're shorter. Just because the angle is tilting you out and yeah. you can't see your footholds. That's yeah. that's the main part there. But uh, all good, we, we press onwards for the Palisades. That was really the hardest. Class four move. He's looking out for your safety. So Ray did this and she's not, she's a couple inches shorter than you. So definitely an awkward class four move to, to make. Thing is, the exposure is not terrible here, so you know we're still down climbing. Okay, so tell me what you did. <laughs> Step down. Ooh, that is I'm awkward. Glad I'm flexible. Because <laughs> I think I would have freaked out otherwise. Old Sage just did it as a backwards down climb and yeah. wedged my hand in those rocks. But coming up on the Palisade formations here, so a little more down climbing before we wrap around to the right. That's where we came from up there, the down climb. Now we're gonna wrap our way around into Keplinger's Kular. Uh, but we got the Palisades here, rock formations on the right. Beautiful, get better, but we're gonna thread our needle up through here, I think, before getting to the Kular. And a final push to the home stretch. Palisades are looking amazing. All right, so generally as we're going up, we've been hugging the right side cliffs. But up here as you come up to Keplinger's Kular, you want to do a little split left. Otherwise, you got a more dicey ramp if you try to stay high and right. So I've learned I do a little zigzag down into Keplinger's Kular, then straight up, then zigzag left for the keyhole, where for the home stretch. All right, so this is what I'm talking about here. If you stay right, you got to do a tougher down climb. If you don't climb too early, you got a cliff of exposure into Keplinger's here. So I go up a little ways, then I do a little zigzag down climb to hit the couloir, then go straight up. Then it's going to jut to the left as a switch back towards the home stretch. Sandy's negotiating a little tricky spot down climb. No more than class three though. Exposure's not too bad. Yeah, I'm just going to go down, zip into here. Awkward down climbs is the name of the game on this route. <laughs> Gotta reach for that step. There you go. Alright, one final push for the summit. It feels great. It feels really good. In Keplinger's Kular now. So I believe that is the notch. Could be wrong. Uh, but we're gonna take a switch back to the left now before we hit the home stretch on the corner up there. Beautiful day. This view of the Palisades. I mean, it's just spectacular. That's why you can't get over from the beaver. Unless you want to rappel down with a rope and do some class five stuff. All right, so the merge onto the home stretch was so subtle, we didn't even realize we were on the home stretch. But now it is one final push to the summit on the home stretch. We just came in from the right down there and 
come up on the corner uh, where it's after the narrows section of the keyhole route. And then of course, hitting the home stretch here, only about a couple hundred feet from the top. under six and a half miles uh, over 5,000 feet of climbing though in less than five hours summit is so big and over here you can see Meeker the notch where we came from well not the notch but uh you can see the notch in the loft right down there top the loft Meeker summit All right, so that's a wrap. Made the summit of Longs, made the summit of Meeker. We're gonna go down the standard keyhole route, but I'm not gonna film it because a lot of people have already seen the keyhole route. I've done a lot of videos on that. A uh, little dicey with some exposure though, of course, on the narrows and the loft, or not the loft, the ledges, but uh, not any harder than what we've already climbed, so. Thanks so much uh, for watching these videos. Subscribe on here if you like these types of adventures. Also, check out Sandy's channel, Running Wild to Believe. Uh, she's gonna do more vlogs, training talks, supporting our business, higherrunning.com, uh, where we sell training plans for any surface, any distance. And uh, yeah, thanks to title sponsor, Hoka One One, keeping the dream alive. Uh, thanks so much, hope you're doing well. Be sure to subscribe on here. Stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.